Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the featherweight bout between Calvin Cater versus Josh Emmett. And I'll see if I already have between Cater versus Emmett is. I'm going Cater here. I feel like Emmett should not be slept on at all. Like people slept on Kevin, I said Kevin, people slept on Calvin Cater in the last fight, me included, slept on Calvin Cater big time in the last fight. And he made a big, you know, he had a big performance. People sleeping on Josh Emmett right now. But he could very much pull off a big win, but I'm picking Cater. But, but it's no disrespect to Emmett, and I'm not overlooking him at all. He's very much gaming this fight. It's not a fight I would say, oh, lock. It might be high confidence, but don't go lock. Don't go crazy with the one I don't see that case, being the case. Because Emmett, when you really look at him, he hasn't really lost too many fights in his career. He got lost. Really, his only real loss people kind of factor against him. Well, he did lose Desmond Green. Like, that was a split decision, but at a higher weight class. And, you know, like his what, UFC debut. So, you know, people ain't, don't really remember that one too much. Then he got the Jeremy Stevens one. That's the one people remember. He only got two losses. The first one, close, contested fight with a solid fighter, an upper weight class. And then the Jeremy Stevens fight, we got stopped. And that's why, you know, you probably kind of hold over him a lot. But it was a lot going on. He did get legitimately dropped by um, Jeremy Stevens, but then he got hit with a legal knee. Then finished off in that same round. Nothing was ever done about that fight. So it's something to consider, like. Would he recover? Would he have gone back to, like, you know, guys head about him, maybe waited to the next round, got back up, you know, got refreshed and went back to, peak, pick, like, picking apart um, Jeremy Stevens? Or we don't know. But either way, I feel like nine times out of ten or even more times than that, he beats Jeremy Stevens. I just feel like it was a case where Jeremy Stevens had a good night, whether you say the flying knee, I mean, whether you factor the knee or not, he won a win's a win and he had a good night. But I feel like most times out, you know, Josh Hemming going to win. But anyway, what I feel in this one, Calvin Cater's like, what, three years younger? Three, you know, 34 versus 37. He has a five-inch height advantage with 5'11 versus 5'6. He has a two-inch reach advantage, 72 versus 70. Josh Emmett might feel like he has some legendary power, but I don't feel like his power is anything special. And Cater has took some legendary power on his chin, some legendary volume on his chin, legendary damage. So Cater's a gamer. I feel like with the height and reach with the style, it'll benefit him. He does have to worry about the overhand a little bit, but I feel like he should be able to see it coming. And I feel like Josh Emmett really has that much depth to his game necessarily. I feel like wrestling could be a little bit of a sneak thing, but Cater has pretty shut down wrestling defense, so he ain't worried about him on the ground at all. And it's not like Josh Emmett is the most aggressive wrestler, so whether he does or not, he get that shut down pretty quickly. Maybe mix it and try to set land overhand right a little bit better. But anyway, I feel like Cater was going to have you know a full that fully locked down. And with his height and his reach, and, you know, the fact that he fights so long and uses his jab so long and his punches so long and then giving that height advantage, I feel like he'll be much, look much bigger than he is and fight much bigger than he is out there. And be able to land that jab, land the two behind it, be a mixed combination. And then you probably, we see um, um, Josh Emmett mean, being so confident in his power and so confident in his overhand or whatever, be able to catch him some little short elbows in there, short, powerful elbows. I see him putting away, like, I'm going to say... Late second round, be to put him way late second round. Feel our process definitely, but Cater been to get away with you know get a, get advantage with some leg kicks, they slip some leg kicks, land some leg kicks, work behind a jab. I'll boss um in a, in a very close first round, second round pretty close, but then like Cater started to set him up, start to land some good counters on him, start to land some knees to the body when he coming in, land some counter rights on him. The events guys feel like he catches him with a short elbow, hurts him, puts it on him, and then puts him out in that second round late. So in this fight, I got Calvin Cater via second round TKL.